in the Bani Israel, in the children of Israel, there was a very pious monk, a very pious priest. And all the time, he would remember Allah. He would praise Allah all the time. So in that very town, there were three brothers who had a beautiful sister. So these three brothers had to go to war. So they decided, what are we going to do with our sister? We are going to be out there for months and months. Who is going to look after our sister? So they decided that what we will do is that we will ask the monk. He is very pious. He's a very pious person. He'll take good care of our sister. And there is no fear of any danger from him. So they go to this priest and they say to him, this monk, and they say to him that this is the reason why we are going, we are going to war. And we have our sister and we want you to look after her whilst we are away. So because this person was very pious, he says to them that I cannot do this. So they continue persuading him. And then shaitan comes to the monk. And he makes this idea sound and look very warming to him. So the priest, this monk, he says, okay, I will look after her whilst you are gone. But there is one condition, that she will stay in the opposite house from where I stay. So she will stay in that side and I will stay on the opposite side. So I do not have to see her. So the brothers agreed, they left for war and they left their sister with this monk. Now what would happen is every day, when the monk would cook food, he would come out of his room, he would leave some food for this woman outside his door. Then he would shout to her and then he would close his own door. This woman would come out, she would pick her own food up and she would go into her home and start eating. So this carried on for a period of time. Then the shaitan comes to the monk again and he says to the monk, that do you really want her to go out from her house? When she walks from her, her home to your home to pick this food up, that someone might look at her. And because she is beautiful, someone might harass her. So why don't you next time leave the food outside her door instead of giving her the trouble of walking to your home to pick the food up? So, for a period of time he did this he would leave the food outside her home and she would open the door and she would eat her food then the shaitan came to the monk again and he said to the monk you know this is a sister and she is the only sister of three brothers and she's been stuck in that room she's been like a prisoner in that room so why don't you go and chat to her? Why don't you go and talk to her? So he goes there and for a period of time what he would do is he would sit outside the house, she would sit inside and this is how they would talk. And he carried on, he carried on for a period of time. And then Shaitan he made him say things, romantic things. He put all these romantic ideas into him. He put all these lustful ideas into his heart. So the conversation from decent, he went to immoral. He started making lustful talk with her, romantic talk with her. And then the shaitan gave him another idea. He said, you know, you're so far from her. She's on the other side, you on this side. Why don't you just go inside the house? So then he left his place of residence altogether. A person who would pray all day and all night. He would go to her home in the morning, talk to her, chat to her, keep her company, and then at night he would return to his house to sleep. So one day whilst talking, he commits zina with her. He commits 
zina with her. Look how shaitan is working step by step, step by step. He committed zina with her. And later on they came to know that this girl is now pregnant. She's expecting. So this monk, he became very scared. Very scared that if these brothers, when they come back and they find out what I have done, then they are going to kill me. So Shaitan puts the idea in his head that murder her and then bury her. And when her brothers come back, say to them that she died of an illness. They've been away for months anyway. And they say to them that she died of an illness. So this is what he did. Whilst the, the child was still in the stomach, he buries her, killed her, and then buried her. And when the brothers came back, they asked him, where is our sister? So he said, well, she fell ill, and she died, and I buried her. This is her grave. That night when these three brothers were asleep, Shaitan came into their dreams. And Shaitan had informed them of what had happened. So in the morning they went to the, the monk and they said to him that have you killed our sister? We have been informed in our dream that you have murdered our sister. He agrees to it. He admits it. So they take him to the local judge who rules the death penalty. That this person, this monk is now to be hanged. Now whilst he is being, before he is hanged, Shaitan comes to this monk. Allahu Akbar and Shaitan says to him, that it was I who made this girl come to you. It was I who made you talk to her. It was I who made you commit zina with her. And it was I who made you kill her. And the only person who can save you now is me. Prostrate in front of me and I will save you. Now this monk he had nowhere to go. So what does he do? He prostrates in front of shaitan. And once he had prostrated in front of shaitan, what does shaitan say to him? Mission accomplished. This is what I wanted. I wanted you to go into disbelief. I wanted you to become a disbeliever in Allah. I wanted you to bow down to worship shaitan. And I have accomplished my mission now. I cannot help you. Even shaitan went away from him.